got a final video statement now of today from Darren Tang, Director General at the World Intellectual Property Organization. So let's have a look at the exclusive message he sent for us. Your Excellency Thierry Breton, European Commissioner for the Internal Market. Your Excellency Christian Chambaud, Executive Director of the EU IPO. Your Excellency Vladia Borisova, President of the Patent Office of the Republic of Bulgaria. Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honour to address the 5th International IP Enforcement Summit. On behalf of your friends and colleagues at WIPO, allow me to extend our warm wishes to everyone gathered in the beautiful city of Sofia. IP plays a critical role in supporting Europe's economic and social well-being. IP-intensive industries are worth over 6 trillion euros to the EU economy supporting 80 million jobs, accounting for more than three quarters of intra-EU trade, and offering a wage premium of 40% over other industries. EU innovators are also amongst the largest users of WIPO's IP services, responsible for 5 in 10 designs and applications, 4 in 10 trademarks, and 2 in 10 patent filings last year. But just as IP rights promote investments in research and innovation, IP infringement undermines innovation and devalues creativity. The cost is not just economic. IP infringement weakens communities and threatens well-being as well. We know that, for example, counterfeit medicines pose a serious risk to human health, and that IP crime is closely associated with other illegal activities. Ultimately, an EU SME whose IP has been infringed is a third less likely to survive than one that has not. If this is how IP infringement stifles jobs and restricts business growth in one of the world's most dynamic economies, then the impact is likely to be even greater in other parts of the world. That's why the focus of this summit is so important and timely. As well as promoting IP enforcement in Europe, you understand that this is a matter which no agency or region can fight on its own. International cooperation is essential to protecting rights and rights holders and consumers, as well as to ensuring that IP remains a powerful catalyst for economic, social and cultural development around the world. Creating a positive and beneficial IP culture is one of WIPO's key objectives, cutting across many aspects of our work. Through the Advisory Committee on Enforcement, we facilitate international dialogue on topical issues around IP enforcement, cooperation, capacity building and awareness raising. We support member states to develop IP enforcement strategies including by providing bespoke training for judges, law enforcement officials, rights holders, and others. WIPO Alert, our database of copyright infringing websites, seeks to prevent advertising revenue flowing to pirate sites. And we are increasing the delivery of impact-driven projects that build respect for IP on the ground around the world. With ARIPO, the African Regional Intellectual Property Organization, we have developed IP clubs that are supporting young kids and students in Botswana, Malawi and Zimbabwe to learn about the importance of IP rights and develop a culture of love and respect for innovation. We will soon launch a new mobile game on IP designed to help youth discover the power of innovation and creativity. And platforms such as WIPO's IP Diagnostics tool to help SMEs understand their IP rights and take action to protect them has been accessed over 12,000 times and generated more than 2,000 customized reports for SME owners in its first full year of use. So the challenge now is to ensure that policy and enforcement keep pace with the digital transformation and the rise of new technologies. So that's why the Advisory Committee on Enforcement will consider AI issues at its next session. And that's why we have a standing invitation for more EU countries to join WIPO Alert and add to our growing database of almost 11,000 infringing websites. We will also continue to explore new ways of using our tools and technology to strengthen IP enforcement worldwide. To just take one example, we are working to help customs officers weed out counterfeit goods by creating a recordation system linked to WIPO's iPass software that's already used in more than 90 countries. We think this has the potential to be a game changer in the fight against counterfeiting and we're pleased to be designing the system alongside the World Customs Organization and several member states. At WIPO, we believe strongly that partnerships spanning government, the public and private sectors and international organizations are key to unleashing the power of innovation and creativity in all parts of the world. So we look forward to continuing our important work with the EUIPO 
including to the European Observatory on Infringements of IP Rights and joint capacity building activities. Together, we can build a stronger and more inclusive IP ecosystem, one that supports and protects innovators and creators anywhere in the world, and that brings the benefits of IP to everyone, everywhere. Thank you very much, and let me wish you the best wishes for a successful summit.